here surface tension is the property defined like this here surface tension t is equal to f by l here f is the force acting on the two surfaces means if we divide this free surface of the liquid into two parts this f and f acting on the two parts at a right angles to the a minus line drawn on the surface at a right angles to it now the force per unit length of the image line which acting right angles to each other in two directions in means in opposite directions is called here surface tension t is equals to the formula is f by l here f is the force with which the two parts are pulling each other in opposite directions and l is the length of the image line drawn on the free surface of the liquid now here we give the units like this here the cgs unit of surface tension is for four cgs unit is dyne for length centimeter and si unit si unit of surface tension is for force newton and for length meter newton per meter now here we give the dimensional formula like this dimensional formula of surface tension here t stands for surface tension is equal to surface dimensional formula of force by dimensional formula of length dimensional formula of force is ml t minus 2 dimensional formula of force is ml t minus 2 by dimensional formula of length is l so l is cancelled so here that is m t minus 2 it is the dimensional formula for surface tension here from the surface tension property we understood that if the free surface of the liquid divided into two equal parts the two equal parts are pulling each other with equal forces in opposite directions not only these two parts uh, here if we consider any two parts any two small parts on the free surface of the liquid the two parts uh, pull each other in opposite directions because of this reason only the free surface of the liquid behaves like a stretched elastic membrane or stretched elastic rubber sheet there is a reason why an insect can crawl on the free surface of the liquid and a greasy needle is a uh, supported means a greasy needle is balanced uh, is can float on the free surface of the liquid here now we try to understand what is a uh, surface energy